Do you remember when you sat on your bike and rode it for the first time? It was so liberating, so worry-free, and your bike, although it was crappy, felt so perfect. But now, as an adult, you sit on your bike and it sucks. Here are 10 reasons why your bicycle probably sucks. Reason number 10, you bought the wrong size bike. You fell to the trap of wanting that bike so bad that you didn't pay attention to what size it was. Or maybe you knew that it was not the perfect size, but you just wanted it so bad, either because it was on sale or it was the last piece or this was the only one they had. So you bought it and now you're stuck with the wrong size bike. There is nothing you can do about this. You have to sell your bike and get a new one that is the right size for you. Reason number nine, you have neglected your bike. Every bicycle needs some tender, loving care every now and then. You don't have to pamper a good bike all the time, but you can't just ignore it completely. If your chain goes rusty, if you never tighten any of your bolts, you never grease your chain, you never do anything to maintain it, then your bike begins to suck. And the longer you neglect it, the worse the problems become and the more your bicycle will suck. Reason number eight, you bought the cheapest department store bike and it sucks. Now, to the untrained eye, to somebody who is completely new, a bike is a bike is a bike. But really, some bikes are better than others. I am not suggesting you have to buy a very expensive high-end bicycle, but the cheapest department store bikes are usually poor in quality. The brakes, the shifters, the whole assembly, the frame is not going to be very good and it is going to suck. So if you bought a cheap department store bike, you can do either of two things. Either you sell it, if you find somebody who wants to buy it, or you suck it up and you buy a decent bicycle somewhere in the six to $700 range. You can get something that is already decent enough. Or you can also go out and get a used bicycle that is made by a reliable good brand. Reason number seven, you bought the most expensive bike that you could afford because you have been saving up to it and you wanted electronic shifting and you wanted hydraulic disc brakes and you wanted so many speeds and you wanted all the bells and whistles. You spent all that money and now you can't take it because you're worried that it's going to be stolen, that it's going to get scratched up and that really sucks. Not the bike itself, but the thought of not being able to use the bike the way you want it. Reason number six, you bought the wrong type of bicycle. Now again, to a newcomer, a bicycle is a bicycle is a bicycle. It has two wheels, a handlebar, pedals and a saddle. But really, there are a lot of nuances. Mountain bike is going to best work off-road. A road bike is going to best work on paved roads. A city bike is going to be perfect for city commuting. You bought a bike because you fell in love with it and it's the wrong type of bike for your ride and that really sucks. Reason number five your bike sucks is that you don't have the tools to maintain them. When you purchase a bike you also need to think of some additional expenses and some of those include tools to maintain your bicycle. Some allen keys, maybe a multi-tool, pump and some other things. If you don't have the necessary tools, your bike is going to be less and less joy to ride and more and more pain in the butt as time goes on and it is going to suck. Reason number four your bike sucks is because you're a crappy mechanic. Maybe you think that you are maintaining your bike but in reality you're just making things worse. Tuning up a bike is not rocket science but you need to know what you're doing in order for the result to be good. If you don't have the skills and the experience to tune up your bike, you might want to take some online courses or watch some online tutorials, or you might just want to take your bike to your local bike shop. Reason number three, your bike is too complicated and impractical. If you use your bike to run errands and every time you sit on it, you have to mount your rear light, your front light, an action cam, maybe a handlebar bag, a bike computer, your phone on the holder, a bottle cage, and maybe a pannier, is that a practical setup? That is the perfect recipe that is going to make you think twice before you get on the bike, and it really sucks. Reason number two why your bike sucks 
is because you still think that there is one magical bicycle out there somewhere that can truly do it all. Let me tell you a secret, there isn't. Maybe your bike is the perfect bike for your use case 90% of the time and 10% of the time you want to go off-road or you want to do something that your bike is not best at and you think, oh man, my bike really sucks. There is no such a thing as the perfect bike that can do it all. And when you think that, then you think that your bike really sucks. And reason number one why your bicycle sucks is because you're still watching this video instead of getting on your bike and riding. 